And remember, if you're looking for, say this was a, say this was a, a melanoma, maybe this is an excision of a melanoma. You're not usually, if the, if the biopsy was done a month ago or three weeks ago, almost never are you going to find melanoma right over the scar or in the scar at first. If it's been a while since the biopsy, it might have grown back over. But usually the places where you're going to have to look the most for residual tumor when you have an excision of a shaved biopsy site is at the periphery. Go to the edge of the biopsy and, and focus on this area here to see if there's anything residual in this area over here. That's the area that's most likely to have leftover remains, residual, whatever it is that they're excising. And then also you can look underneath if it was something that was in the dermis, like a basal cell or whatever. So I try to focus on those areas. And usually in an early biopsy site, I don't get very worried about this because when I was a, a junior resident, I used to wonder, I'd see a very busy cellular granulation tissue at a biopsy site and think, how on earth am I sure there's not one melanoma cell in there? Well, A, it probably wouldn't matter if it's one cell. If the patient already has melanoma and there's one or two residual cells, it's already excised, so it's not going to change anything for the patient in most situations. And then also, the likelihood of finding a tumor in the middle of the, the biopsy site scar or granulation tissue that's been recently biopsied and now excised is very, very low because that stuff was all removed and now is filled in with new tissue. So in any case, that's kind of my thoughts about that. And I... I didn't really have anyone explain that to me and kind of thought maybe there's people out there worried about that. I, I was worried about that.